Hashtag Verse TV week 157. The last topic is coming from our friends at at LGBTQ Niger. All right. And the post read, don't regret the love you gave them. They probably needed it. And Damien Omar Lee, did you wave? Yeah, yeah. I think the the, the <laughs> I think the cut the meme or the 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 quote is very shady. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just very um like yeah, like I gave you this love, take that. You know what I mean? You probably needed it, you son of a bitch. Like f you, like that's a, that's the kind of energy that is given off. Like, um, but then at the same time, I understand. Like, if you ask me at certain points in my life, I could I could see, I could see that. And I'm to, I'm and there are women that I've dated, um, that even though I didn't treat them well. The love that they gave me, I, I probably did. I probably did need, need it. You know what I'm saying? Because it, you know, because it's of just all of my experiences, everything that I've been through. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's crazy. You think that you think that you're loving, quote unquote, when when you know you're in relationships. When a lot of times there's a lot of other shit going on, um, and you can never define it as that, um, especially when you don't necessarily understand what it is that you're doing like like kind of like i think you 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 kevin has said in an earlier um com like like earlier conversation like like we don't even know what we didn't even know about credit <laughs> you know what i'm saying i think it's the same thing with love you know i mean we're learning from we're learning love from people who didn't even have it figured out well, how can they be right? You know what I mean? How would we know what love is? Um, you know, so it, it, I mean, when, when I see comments like that, you know, um, I get it, but it just depends on where you are in, in your own maturation process and, and in your own life just to make that own comment. Um, so, so yeah, that, that's all I have to say about that. All right. And I will say that for me, I assume that they moved on and that we're no longer together because they feel that they're moving to something better. I, I, I never think about the fact that, oh, well, maybe they needed this love from me because i always assume like eh, you, you think you're better over there whatever okay because again my move on game is strong now may, maybe it's a, maybe that's a sign of a bigger problem for me being so having such a strong move on game and maybe maybe it is i don't know and you know i've hmm, I, I, gen, I, I try not to stay in the past on things. So if things come to an end, I, I, I try not to dwell in it. I've been hurt before, which is true. And I will not do the Desperate Debbie thing because if we end things, I am not that one to hit you up and beg to get back to you. Again, that goes back to like what I'm saying. Maybe it's wrong for me to have such a strong move on game. And maybe that's the reason that I'm here in 38 and single, but it is what it is. And no bad feelings if presence helped. Right, yeah, because I, I if my presence helped somebody at some point in time, great. I, I, I don't feel badly about that. And yeah, you know, if, if my love for them help them, great. Yahtzee, okay? And we all steps in journey, life growth, 
Yeah, you know, because we're, we're all different steps on, on the journey of life, you know, and I, I won't save this for the one minute because you mentioned, um, and I still have a, a few seconds, it, it, this post being a little shady and it's like, I, I, I never thought of it that way, but it is kind of like a, well, chances are they needed it. They, they they needed you, you know? So it's like, oh, that that's an interesting way to think about it. That's also an interesting way to keep you from feeling badly about the end of it. And uh, perhaps in my strong move on game, stuff like that maybe sinks its way in sometimes. I don't know. Anyway, but that's all for me. And Chrissy Marie... Or Kevin, were you raising your hand? Oh, yeah, I was just saying, um, was a well, I guess in the relationship, um, I somewhat depending on how it ended, could be a learning lesson for both parties. Um, could we go one way or the other? Um, but both people should learn from it. Um, like with me, for example, with my prior dating life, I've had what five ex boyfriends still talk to, well, four of them, and four of them I love always will not the first one. But, yeah, we were able to kind of move on, even if we're going different directions. We do still acknowledge and respect each other. All right, Chrissy Marie. See, I had a whole different answer before I heard Damien's response, and then it kind of just changed everything that I was thinking. (laughs) And you're right. It does have an undertone of ego, like massive arrogance, maybe. But it could also be because you're a kind and loving person, and you genuinely intended to love, and you don't regret for that reason, you know. Uh, You know, my first initial in my mind was, period. (laughs) <laughs> period <laughs> um yeah that part they probably did need it but you know at the same time i don't know some things are what they are they're not what they're not and we just have to accept it and move on because then how are we going to grow and love somebody who actually appreciated that love? Because then if, if they needed it so much, then why did you break up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't maybe, know. It, it just maybe, maybe question maybe here. So, with their love language. Like, huh? whatever, like sometimes whatever your, their love language is, you just wasn't connecting with. Right. So <laughs> they did they need it? <laughs> Probably not. It probably was a waste, but am I going to regret that? No, because I'm just going to love how I love. (laughs) It's just the way it goes. 